Okay guys, this example, an 8.5 kilogram crate is to be pulled across the floor with a force of 75 newtons. The crate will experience a force of friction of negative 34 newtons. So we're pulling the crate rightward with a force of 75 newtons and the crate will experience a force of friction of negative 34 newtons. The crate also has a mass of 8.5 kilograms. First question is asking us simply, what is the net force acting on the crate? The second question is saying, what is the crate's rate of acceleration? So I want to find out what the acceleration of the crate is. And the last thing is saying, give us the force diagram or free body diagram. And I prefer to call it a free body diagram, but for sometimes it is known as a force diagram. The first thing I'm going to do actually is letter C. I like to start off each problem by drawing the free body diagram, which illustrates all the force presence in the object. So let's show a picture here of the crate. So here's my crate. There we go. It's a square. It's on a surface, looking like this, and we have the force of gravity acting downward on it. And the other force we have is going to be the force normal that's acting upwards. It's going to be equal and opposite from gravity in this case. And I also have another force applied here. We're going to have a rightward force of I'm going to call it a force applied, and that force applied is 75 newtons. It's positive, so I'm saying it's the right word, force applied. We're also noticing here we have a force of friction too. So we have an FF, or a force of friction. In this case, it's going to be negative 34 newtons. And that takes care of my free body diagram. And it's a great place to start. It lets you begin and see what all the forces are that are present and working on this object here. So we do have friction and we definitely want to make sure we've considered that and that's kind of over here. Let's go down to question A. Question A is asking us what is the net force on the object. And let's check this out guys. The force acting on the object or the net force, net force is another, another way of saying the total force, the sum of all of the forces acting on, on the object. And what I'd like to do is examine the forces on the y-axis first and the forces on the x-axis as well. Well, in this case, gravity and normal are going to cancel out with each other. We know that because this is an object that is moving horizontally. It is not moving vertically. So in the vertical direction, it is not accelerating. So therefore, I know that my negative force gravity is going to cancel out with my positive force normal. And for those of you guys who like numbers, we'll just calculate this for you, okay? The force of gravity is going to be mass times the acceleration due to gravity. The mass was 8.5 kilograms, and that has to be multiplied by the force, or I'm sorry, that will be multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so let's just crunch these numbers here. And what we end up is 83.3 as my force uh, due to gravity here. That's going to be 83. 83.3 newtons. That's my Fg. So it's nothing more than the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity to give me a negative 83.3. So what we see here is that the force net is going to be equal to negative 83.3. The force normal is going to be equal and opposite of that in this case because it is not accelerating upwards or downwards. So we're going to have a negative, we're going to have in this case, I'm sorry, a positive. Let's just scratch that. We're going to have an 80. 3.3 newton force opposing that. So we're looking here at a negative 83.3 plus a positive 83.3 newtons to give me a net force in the x direction and the y direction as zero newtons. So we've taken care of the F net in the y direction. Now we're going to look at the F net in the x direction. And let's just draw, cut this board in half over here. So in the x direction, so the F net now in the x though is a different story. They're not going to cancel out. We already see here that I'm going to have 75 newtons going rightward. So I'm going to have a positive 75 newtons. And I'm also going to add into there a negative 34 newtons as far as my force due to friction. And when I sum this all up, what I end up with is a 41 Newton 
force is my F net. All right, and I simply took 75 minus 34, and I ended up with 41 newtons. And that's positive or rightward. Now the other thing here, guys, is that the F net on the object is also going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the object. So let's do a little bit of substitution going on here. In this case, I've already identified my net force is 41 newtons. So instead of F net, let's write down 41 newtons. I think you can see where I got that from. I got that right over here. I took that from that problem. The mass of the problem, the mass of the crate is going to be 8.5 kilograms. And I'm going to find out now what is the acceleration of this crate. So looking here at the acceleration, we're going to use our algebraic gymnastics to rearrange the problem and solve for acceleration. So acceleration is going to be 41 newtons divided by 8.5 kilograms. And I'm going to end up with 4.82 as my, as my acceleration. And you'll note that is a positive value just like the net force. The net force had a positive value. The same way with acceleration will always match their signs. The positive and positive will match up. If it was negative, they would both match up as well. So here's what we're looking at, guys. We have an object here, a crate, accelerating at 4.82 meters per second squared, rightward, due to an unbalanced force or net force of 41 newtons caused by this force applied although some of that force applied is being canceled out by my force of friction. Alright guys, I hope that video was helpful. Have a great night. See you later.